<laughs> Yay! Hello, everyone. Um, so let's get that out of the way. Actually, don't want to look at the other video while I'm doing this video. Coming back, controller. There we are. <laughs> oh, this doesn't have my address on it, does it? No, maybe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I have this big box in the office. I was uh, at Crown Supply Teardown over the weekend, which was awesome. It was in Portland, which meant that I didn't get this package until now. Uh, as you probably know, on Sunday night at 11 p.m. Pacific, we launched the new Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. I don't know why it's Model B, uh, given that it's the first four, but uh, I'm sure someone can tell me that in the comments and be like, why don't you know that? It'll be great. Actually, people are really nice. Anyway, okay, so let's get this box open. Um, I just got back to the office. I think this is this is a little hefty. I think uh, maybe, it, maybe it contains some extra goodies. In case you haven't already seen, uh, Alistair Allen, our uh, genius blogger, and I, did a quick video at Teardown just in a <laughs> secluded empty room that we could find and it was very echoey and casual and uh, it but we had the Pi 4 and we sort of ran down the features as Alistair has also covered in his blog posts which are linked in the description to this video including one on benchmarking machine learning versus all kinds of other machines uh, which is very exciting so we cover kind of most of the specs, and I'll probably ramble that, about that a little bit more as we unbox this. Just so you know, um, you can use also the links in the description to find the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit. Um, yeah, I this is something we didn't look at in the previous video, so at the very least, we'll get up a, a close-up look at that. Well, I'm assuming! I'm kind of assuming that that's inside this box because it's fairly heavy, uh, but we'll find out. Who knows? Maybe it's like a pie and like four pounds of st stickers and pins and stuff. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be incredibly shocked. I'd be a little, little surprised, but I wouldn't be incredibly shocked. Let's get this open. Oh ho ho ho! Package day. There's actually a bunch of new stuff in the office that I can't wait to show you. Including a package from Darl, a crowd supply, which, as always, is amusingly decorated. <laughs> but, mm, 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 mm. okay, oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Now I can put this fully under here. Wow. We've got some air packaging! My favorite! Let's, uh, let's just go get straight to destroying all of this. Yeah, I never ship anything, so I don't have a use for this, but I'll recycle it, I promise. Okay. You think it's satisfying popping bubbles? Try doing this. They're like, mm, very good. On to the main event. Ooh, it's like a shoebox. A shoebox full of goodness. That's so much goodness. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah! Okay. Yeah, here. All right. Let's make sure our focus is all nice. Yes, I'm kind of drawing out the anticipation a little bit. I can't help it. Could you help it? I can't help it. All right. Boop. <laughs> oh, yes! We have a desktop kit! This is so exciting! Official Raspberry Pi mouse. White and red. Look at it! It's so pretty! I mean, even just the packaging, it's got this like matte sort of sheen on it. It's very nice. Oh, wow. And the official USB-C power supply. This is a big part of the new deal with the Raspberry Pi 4 is that it can pull up to three amps, <laughs> even I think especially with peripherals plugged in, but maybe even on its own. Plus like it may want a fan, even if you haven't used a heatsink or a fan before, you can do incredibly intense stuff like machine learning, but also according to Alistair, this is the first Pi that you can actually really use as a desktop computer. Like it's beefy enough that it doesn't have lag when you browse the internet and play games and stuff. I'm stoked about that because that's always what happens to me and so you need a more beefy power supply also they swapped out the micro USB connector for a USB-C so I'm very excited about uh, having this already in our hands I wasn't sure if they just sent us the pie or what 
Uh, here's the specs. 100 to 240 volts, so it should work in actually both the US and the UK. They gave they have a little uh, image here showing it. It's the US connector though. Uh, 5.1 volts, 3 amps output. Oh, stuff. It's not the exciting part, Alex. <laughs> get to the <laughs> get to the exciting thing. We've got a micro SD card preloaded with Raspbian Buster. There may be some growing pains with that as it is a new version of Debian, not only of Raspbian, but of Debian. Um, and so there's probably gonna be some interesting issues there. How big is the SD card they put it on? I'm curious. Um, 16 gigs, so that should handle most things I'm gonna throw at it. Ooh, maybe I should put the stereo pie on this. Maybe I should turn this into a st streaming telepresence computer with the stereo pie, oh my goodness. Wait, the stereo pie uses the Raspberry Pi compute module three, Never mind. Well, we'll still be able to do some cool camera, maybe streaming telepresence video type stuff. It'll be fun. Ooh, yes. Uh, put that back in there for safekeeping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have a case already with your Pi 4 pre-installed this is where the micro SD card goes, so that is not yet installed. I wonder if they're gonna give us little rubber feet to put under here, I don't know. Oh look, a little spot where you can see the LEDs through, a little window. Um, this does, this, it's different from your previous Pi's, so your previous cases are not gonna fit. There's more overhang here. The ethernet and USB ports have been swapped, as Alistair noted. Um, you've got these two micro HDMI out ports. Unlike before, when you had one big one, big regular HDMI, this has two micro HDMI ones. Um, so that's different. It can power two 4K monitors at 30 frames per second each, or uh, one 4K monitor at 60 frames per second. Pretty nice. And then you've got your stereo audio and composite video out and your USB-C power thingamajig port. <laughs> How do I, uh, do I squeeze and lift? Oh yeah, wow, that was really easy, actually. So look, it's got this, oh boy, now I'm failing. Oh, and here's our little rubber feet. Nice, cute. Um, so there's this cool hinge mechanism. Look at this. You like put it over here and then just swing it down and it clicks into place. Um, squeeze it, lift up. That is so nice. It's so nice. Someone asked actually on the previous stream if the standoff holes are in the same place. Let's find out. Where's the pie? Uh, actually, I might not have one with me right here. The robot might be in the other. Since I was just traveling, my robots and stuff are all in other places. Wait, one second. I think I've got one. They do appear to be in the same place, the little, the little holes. Um, there was another question, what was it, what was it, what was it? Oh, not another question, but just uh, about the pins here. We've got, it. it is backwards compatible, and apparently, according to Alistair, uh, these 40 pin connectors are even backwards compatible with the original Pi 1 26 pin connector. Uh, so you could, in theory, put a hat that you had for that on to one of these and it'd still work. Uh, but you have four more spy pins, four more uh, I squared C compatible pins, and four other UART pins. Um, yeah, so expanded capabilities there. Let's put this back together. Ah, oh, this is really cool. Put the feet on <laughs> while we take a breather. Oh, yes. And it looks like there's space in here for a heat sink or a fan or whatever. Although, without the airflow over it, I'm not sure how much of a difference that would make. Alistair mentioned that he usually has his like zip tied to a, a pole or something, so it's not like just hanging out. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, solid. Let's take a look at this mouse. I'm excited to check it out. 
The branding is so nice. Uh, the shoebox thingy-majig uh, is not branded, but you can see on the on the website that it should come in. The, oh, you know what? Maybe not. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, it come in this like pretty matching box. What does it say? SD card, power supply, mouse, keyboard, and hub. And hub, huh? Uh, Pi four. Oh, HDMI cables. Uh, something something. Can't tell what those are at the end. Ooh, we'll find out now, I guess. Let's open this up. Oh, I just did that. Ha ha, look at it! Da -da -da -da. It clicks! Quality mouse. <laughs> it's an optical mouse, you got a scroll wheel. Delightful. It's just waiting to get covered in gunk here in the office. That's what happens, you know, invariably. Let's make sure that our stream is looking nice and see if there's any questions so far. Pi 4, yeah boy. <laughs> yep. The Model V is a reference to the form factor. It relates back to the 1A to 1B changes. Thank you, Michael Pemberton. That is very useful. Daniel or Stewart says, is there a purchase link for this? Yes, there is in the description to the video. Uh, the fourth and fifth links there are to the Pi 4 itself and to the desktop kit. Um, <laughs> but will it blend? I'm not going to test that. You can test that. You can buy one and test it. Um, we have someone saying, how much does it cost? Another person saying, cuanto cuesta, which is the same thing. It goes for, I don't know how much the kit is actually. Let's see. <laughs> there are no global resellers for this. Hmm. United States. $120. The four on its own, the price varies. It's $35 for one gig of RAM, uh, $45 for two gigs, and $55 for four gigs of RAM. That's DDR4 SD RAM. So uh, up to you, basically. 35 is about the standard that you've had for the for these guys um, in the past, except for the zero models. And so uh, now you can just sort of pick how beefy you want it. Here's our USB-C connector. Okay, so we've got these things so far. Cool. Mm. Okay, I see a couple of cables. Go there. <laughs> um, micro HDMI, very nice. Let's get you open. It's a Leatherman squirt, by the way. I love it so much. Ah! So here you can see that there is this micro connector. It's a little uh, frustrating, honestly. The Zero W has a mini HDMI, I think, and then this one is micro, so you can't use the same uh, HDMI connector that you would use for the mini, but this is used by some other things, so that's fine. And then, oh, two! Two of them! Very nice! Could drag another monitor in here and have a field day. Whew! Do some kind of a dual player um, gaming setup or something. I have to get all my colleagues in here who play Mario Kart, see if we can set up some kind of an emulator. <laughs> That'd be fun. What what games would you all want to play on this? I don't actually know what runs on Linux, and so uh, what should I get? What, I got I got to benchmark this somehow. Alistair's doing all the cool machine learning stuff. I've got to do the fun gaming stuff, right? <laughs> He's the serious one. Oh wow! Look at this, the Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. How to use your new computer. Fully updated for Raspberry Pi 4. Second edition. Wow, this is actually fantastic. I'm really curious about all the stuff that I can do with this. Because I've messed around before with the Pi. I've you know taken a look at the scratch capabilities. I've taken a look at the, um, they used to call it Wolfram Mathematica. I think it's now just called Mathematica. Uh, 
built-in capabilities, the Python stuff, the Sonic Pi. Uh, Mohib has been playing around with the Sonic Pi stuff apparently. I've not done that yet. I'm really excited actually. Um, look at this. How does it smell? I'm a child of English teachers, so I always have to like smell these things. It all my whole time in uh, in uh, literature using your Raspberry Pi. So here's all the setup stuff. We've got all the physical hardware setup. Fantastic. Um, and then over here, programming with Scratch. Res configuration. Oh, LibreOffice. Cool. Yeah. Um, navigating the desktop, so more Scratch stuff. <laughs> I might actually end up using Scratch for a telepresence thing that I haven't uh, mentioned yet. It'd be really interesting. Uh, basically just the idea of like animating a character on a screen based on uh, detected face points, sort of like I talked about with Alex Hornstein in our interview about the looking glass. You should totally check that one out. It's fascinating, especially if you're interested in telepresence. Um, physical computing with Scratch and Python. Cool. So now is when we get into the GPIO stuff. Ba -ba -ba. Tells you how to read uh, resistor values. Haha, <laughs> cool. More Scratch, bunch of circuits, delightful. Uh, can you actually get GPIO out with this case on? You can. not uh, So you just take it out of the case and then you'd be able to plug into all those GPIOs. Mm -mm -mm. And you've got, what is this thing again? It's called the like rainbow hat or something, I think. No, the sense hat. So you can get the sense hat, which has a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, enables the pie in all these different ways with like an LED matrix and a bunch of other cool things. Looks like a little joystick there maybe. I've never actually used one, but yeah. Accelerometer. <laughs> okay, and then the camera module. Haha! <laughs> Making your own little smart glasses, I guess. Uh, what else we got? Python programming. Mm -mm -mm, more camera stuff. Uh, installing noobs to a micro SD card. The command line interface. I'm always in I mostly work on the command line with my Pi. I'll either SSH into it or occasionally like hook it up to a, a monitor and keyboard and mouse, but I prefer to do SSH. And here's the specs for the Pi 4. You've got your usual DC um, display port connector and then your uh, CC. I'm not sure how that's how you CSI camera connector. Um, Ethernet, yeah. You've got true giganet ether gigabit Ethernet on the Pi 4, uh, as opposed to before it would have to go through this USB thingamajig uh, chip. It no longer has to do that, so it can be a full, actual, real gigabit Ethernet setup. Okay. And then here is our keyboard. Don't mind me just tossing stuff all over the office. Do have to do this first. There we go. Actually, official Raspberry Pi keyboard and hub. Full-sized keyboard with three powered USB ports. Wow, nice! That's really nice. So in addition to the two USB 2, uh, I think it's called high speed, and then your two USB 3 super hot, super speed, something like that, uh, ports, then you also have three more on this keyboard. That's pretty cool! Uh, these are USB 2 ports. Uh, automatic keyboard language detection? No way! Okay, so I always have to, when I set up a new Pi with noobs, I have to set it to do US uh, language stuff instead of UK. I'm not sure if that's actually what this is talking about with the key layout, because automatic keyboard language detection. Hmm. Uh, you have got a, an included cable for connecting it. Compatible with all Raspberry Pi products. Ergonomic design for comfortable use. I will be the judge of that. Oh boy. Let's just hit the camera with that. That's great. Uh, it's got its own link um, for getting started. RaspberryPi.org slash product slash keyboard underscore hub. Let's open that up real quick just so. Um, you know what? I can just take one of these. It's already open and edit the URL. Keyboard underscore hub. If I can type, that is. <laughs> this 
guide is pretty cool. Do, do, do. Yeah, and then there's a black and gray option as well, which I think I maybe ordered a few months back and didn't ever see. <laughs> we'll find out. Anyway, yeah, uh, so you can find out all about this keyboard. I'm sure that we have some gearheads out there who have like really specific preferences about keyboards, so I'll show you what it's like and then you can judge it to your heart's content. There we go. Ooh, here's our connection cable. It says USB A to USB B. Oh, that was a Ziploc, whatever. <laughs> um, but I thought I thought USB B was the one that looks like a little house. Anyway, micro USB to USB A. I could be wrong there. I'm often wrong. It's a good day when I get to rip stuff open. Okay, that piece of packaging there. Ooh, ooh, yes, very yes. This is how I tie it, very good. Look, you've got a little Raspberry Pi button! <laughs> wow! Instead of your uh, win Windows key or your little Apple key or your Command key, you've got your, got your little Raspberry Pi key. I wonder what that's for. Oh no. Uh -uh. My focus is all wrong. I guess we'll have to go really close up. There we go. Check it out. So cute. I'm just going to mash that when the thing starts up and see what happens. <laughs> um, I do have an interview in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to see if I can fire this up real quick. I've got a monitor here in the office because um, I'm really impatient. So let's try and get this uh, up and running. It'll be fun. Gonna move all my old <laughs> computing stuff out of the way. Oh, you know what will be nice? Um, previously, what I've had to do is have you know the the old keyboard and mouse and stuff all sort of <laughs> horribly mangled up together. But I can just plug the mouse into the keyboard itself now, so that'll make things a lot neater. I think that's very nice. So let's just get you out of here. Onto the pile with you. And then we have our uh, monitor. So micro USB for power. Don't need that either. Here's a little robot. Get you out of the way. <laughs> ah! And uh, coming out of my monitor, I have the, the little mini HDMI for the Pi Zero as well as the regular. HDMI. Neither of these is going to serve our purpose. We're going to swap those out for a micro HDMI. Oh boy. <laughs> Things are kind of filthy underneath that uh, mouse and keyboard. Okay, so let's do this. I'm really excited. <laughs> is this monitor on? It's not plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the Pi. And then while it boots up, ideally, <laughs> I'm going to go around and plug in the monitor and we'll see what happens. So, Pi connector, USB-C, three amps. Oh, now the monitor's on. I just needed to turn on the my uh, power strip there. Um, actually, I'm going to leave this one for now because I don't need it right away. I'm going to just uh, put in the SD card first, micro SD card. Pull this out of here. Thump. Thump. And insert it over here. The metal contacts on the micro SD card go against the metal contacts in the slot here. Here's the moment of truth! Okay, okay, okay. So my favorite thing about these is when they include the little spring so that it like sort of clicks into place. We'll see if it just slides in or if it clicks. Oh, it doesn't want to do either. <laughs> oh, okay, 
Okay, so it just slides in. <laughs> As usual, it extends a little bit beyond the edge of the pie, and that's fine. I really prefer when it clicks, but that's fine. Okay, so let's plug this in. <laughs> Doop. We've got lights! Beautiful! And uh, let's get that HDMI plugged in. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Pardon me. this over. Goes in the same side as the other stuff. I'm assuming it doesn't matter which port I plug into. Um, and we'll see. Are we gonna get some pie action? Sometimes the monitor is a little bit finicky, so I don't know. Monitor. Monitor. <laughs> uh, monitor. Come on. Come on, monitor. Come on, monitor. <laughs> I'm going to plug in the mouse and keyboard while I wait on this. It says no signal, huh. But that could just be the monitor being a jerk as usual. So I'm going to plug the keyboard here, or the mouse into the keyboard. So what, we've got three USB-A ports here. I'll just stick this in here. And we've got the micro USB that connects it to the Pi. Everything's so matchy matchy, and it's so small compared to my huge BMS. I mean, the old one had a numpad and stuff, but still, like, it's nice. It looks so fresh and clean. Okay, um, I needed to plug this into the Pi. USB 2 or USB 3? I don't know. We'll do that. It doesn't have to be incredibly high speed. In fact, I'm going to do this. Just so I don't still have cables all over the place. Twist eyes are my buddies. Okay, I'm still not getting anything on the monitor. So, what I might do is be a jerk and just uh, restart the Pi with a hard reset because I'm impatient and I have seven minutes until my next video. <laughs> it's just a recording, so. Um, come on, Pi. We can do this. And if this doesn't work, I will swap it around to the other port on the... <gasps> oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. The monitor light changed. Hey! There we go. Okay, cool. Let's get a better vantage point on this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There we go. Cool. And this should, in just a moment, do the thing. Come on, Pi. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, wait, yeah. The screen just went from like gray to black. Hey! -hey! Cool. It's uh, up the colors here, so it looks all nice. Nice. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. It's a little bit stretched in the x-axis, but I think we can forgive that for now. Before we start using it, there are a few things to set up. Net press next to get started. Set the country. Fantastic. Use U.S. keyboard. U.S. U.S. language. Um. Oh. <laughs> It wants me to change the resolution to 920 by 1080, or 1920 by 1080. I'll do that later on. That's just from the, oh no, go away. Oh, okay, I'm gonna set a new password for it. Uh, I'm gonna turn my audio off so you don't hear me typing it.
Do, do, do. Na, 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 na. I can go on extra things. Yeah, it's, a, it's a real computer. Please don't steal our internet. <laughs> Wherever you are. Check and update the operating system if necessary. It may involve a large download. Press next to up check and update the software or skip to continue without checking. Look at this nice background here. This is terrible. This is a terrible vantage point. Let's not do that. Actually, now I don't have a huge box on my desk. I can do this. Yes. Yeah, so oh no, error checking for updates. I'm not, you're not offline. I do like that it says whilst. Um, cool. All right, I have four minutes until my next thing and I'm gonna take that time to update the, um, the thumbnails and the links on the YouTube and stuff. So I will see you tomorrow. I am very excited to get our, <laughs> oh, our first project running on this. I really don't want to go do another a different thing right now, but I have to. So uh, yeah, I hope this was entertaining and interesting and educational. Um, yeah. Ask any questions. I'm really curious to see what you're curious about. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hack on. <laughs>